Hello and welcome to another critical reasoning video by Perfect Scores. The question that we have in front of us, it's a combination question where we need to strengthen and weaken both simultaneously using the same options. So let's look at the question. It says which of the following it discovered would support one of the two hypotheses and undermine the other. So what we're going to expect in this argument is two hypotheses, hypothesis one and hypothesis two. So let's read the argument now. It talks about tiger beetles and they are fast runners, but they stop and then resume the attack. So we need an explanation why they stop and then resume the attack. If you read it carefully, hypothesis one says that the reason is they need rest because they cannot maintain their pace. So let me write it down, can't maintain pace, they need rest. And hypothesis 2 says they are unable to process the rapidly changing visual information. Rapidly changing visual information. So we need to find an answer that will either strengthen hypothesis 1 and weaken hypothesis 2 or weaken hypothesis 1 and strengthen hypothesis 2. So that is what we have to do, either this situation or this situation. So let's look at A. It says, when a prey insect is moved directly towards a beetle that has been chasing, the beetle immediately stops and runs away. Now there is no explanation about the beetle running away. So A is gone. B, in pursuing a swerving insect, that means that moves very rapidly, a beetle alters its course. That means hypothesis 2 is weakened it can uh, accept and uh, process the rapidly changing visual information. That is why the beetle is able to alter the course. So that is why hypothesis 2 is weakened by the option. Let's look at what is done to hypothesis A. Its pauses become more frequent as the chase progresses, which is actually strengthening this because it cannot maintain the pace. So it has to take more and more pauses. So B can be the answer. C. Uh, the beetle usually responds immediately to changes in the insect's direction, which is weakening, and pauses equally frequently whether the chase is up or down and inclined. Now, this is common sense. You do not need external knowledge that while going um, up and inclined, you need to have more pauses because you cannot maintain pace. It's more tiring. So, hypothesis 1 is also weakened, and that is why C is eliminated because we need one strengthening and one weakening. D. If when a beetle pauses, it has not gained on the insect it is pursuing, it generally ends the pursuit. That does not answer our question. And E. The faster a beetle pursues an insect, the more frequently the beetle stops. It's actually strengthening this hypothesis but does not mention anything about the second one. So E is eliminated and that is why B becomes the answer. So thank you so much for watching this video.